How are you guys kind of holding up now? I know that you know you guys had the players only meeting on Sunday and wanted to you know really have a, a good showing here tonight. How do you guys feel uh, in the wake of, uh, of that and, and where are things stand now? I mean, uh, we're definitely not help, happy with the outcome, but you know, it, it was going to school to kind of come back and keep uh, when they just ready to work. Uh, same thing, you know, we got to fix our mistakes. It's a lot of uh, little things, you know, that we uh, did, out, did out there, you know, like get a sack on third down, but we're outside. So, you know, there's a lot of good flashes of what we can do, but we got to fix a little bit, so get back on track. You know, certainly we knew the Oklahoma offense was very good. Was there anything that kind of surprised you with just how efficient they were? Uh, number one's a really good ball player, you know. I think one of the best ball players we play all year. You know, and, uh, the way he played was really testament to uh, the player he is. So, uh, you know, we prepared as best we could. I think we had a great week of practice, and, you know, it was just another great player. With the understanding that you're not obviously happy with the results of any of the games, including tonight, it seemed that with the players meeting, you weren't happy. This was my interpretation. You can correct me if I'm wrong. You weren't happy with the way you guys were doing things. Are you happier, obviously not, with the result? Do you think you showed a different spirit tonight, uh, uh, more of a uh, fighting attitude tonight than maybe you had had before that may have prompted that players meeting? Uh, definitely. I feel like we all played really hard for each other. And that's what it comes down to. But we have to execute, you know, and that's how you win games. And just to follow up, did you feel that way? I'm, I'm guessing you may not have felt that way last week after that game. Mm -hmm. uh, felt not, felt about what? I got the sense when you had the players meeting that you didn't feel that you mm -hmm. practiced well, that you needed to do something on your own, mm -hmm. and, uh, and you had the ability to change a little bit on your own. Yeah, I think each person just made sure that they came with some juice, you know, to bring towards the team, you know, just to work hard and practice hard so we could, you know, just put ourselves in the best uh, place to succeed. They had, I believe, 483 yards at halftime. What was kind of the talk amongst the defense and the mindset in the locker room at halftime? You know, there's, um, there's a lot of things um, that you can see in the first half that was on us. You know, not really what they were doing, but you know, missed assignments and you know, not flying to the ball, missed tackles and whatnot. And a lot of their big plays, their X plays, were based off of what we were doing. And, you know, we try to come out in the second half. And, you know, we stop them. We want to come first drive, but we got to be more consistent. You know, you can't have um, these really good stops and then just play them. I want to prove that we got to be more consistent. Yeah. Uh, what, what goes into defending a dual threat like Channel Hurts? And how do you think he did on tonight? Definitely, we need um, we need a face quarterback like him that can run. You know, he can um, pass rush is more. You gotta box him in. You know, he has really good threat running the ball, but also um, we're not just playing the run game to so stop the running back. You know, you got the read option and whatnot. So we just we had to uh, you know focus on game tackling this week. You know, I think definitely uh, when you we could have done a better job, and we need to we play to, to play better. You guys topped 100 yards rushing for the first time this season, but doesn't really look like last season as far as some you know really good games that Josh seems to be kind of rounding into form. What's it going to take to really have kind of a breakthrough uh, with the run game? I think it's just going to take everyone on the offense to do their job each play, um, and that's going to create more opportunities for us to get loose and make more yards down the field. Major, what, what do you think you guys are missing uh, with Irving and Kaz not out there in the back with you guys? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. You know, uh, I think me and Josh do the best we can. You know, and we would love to have Martell and Kaz out there because they bring something different as well. But you know, we're just that's not my call really. It's up to Coach Kelly.